the grandest stage of them all. He's had many a moment and that is one of them. Alfie, congrats on the new contract, mate. How's that feel? Uh, relief. Um, I've been trying to get this done now. Um, when I knew that my situation at the club, I wanted to stay. I wanted to get back into the Premier League, obviously, with, with Luton. And, um, and especially after these couple of years now, I mean, it's my third year now. I've loved the club and, um, yeah, I'm happy to stay. I was going to say, you've been here for three years, but it does feel like you've been here forever, doesn't it? It feels yeah. like a bit of a home for you. Well, it's, yeah, I think there's a lot, there's a lot happened in the past two seasons. I mean, getting, getting signed, having a rough start of the season just because of like injuries and stuff, and then kind of finding my feet again, playing and then getting promoted. And then in the Premier League as well, it was like a, it was a roller coaster. So um, no, yeah, it's been, it's been brilliant and I can't say enough, can't say enough about the club really. If you look back at the three years you've had with us, the, the goals <coughs> you've scored, I'd say is there any standouts? For me, the, the Gillingham one, the QPR one, yeah. the, the best out of them two, which one do you think is your fave? I think, I think the, the QPR one I really enjoy just because 3-0, when I, again, we were, we were fighting for fighting for promotion and I think it was just a nice feeling to 3-0 up 80 minutes we can kind of coast now for the rest of the game but the Gillingham one was quite special I did like enjoy that but then again I think most of my goals that I've scored here have been quite quite nice I mean the two Premier League goals and and even the Sunderland away one that was a big goal just purely in this state of the season so um but yeah no it was a uh, I'd say the Gillingham probably yeah the uh free kick routine for that was the one that you scored off Fussy Sunderland away yep. through the keeper. Yep. Um, you had one to hit the post at Reading away, I think, as well. Yep. Uh, that kind of seems to be like working a lot that year. Yeah, the thing is, I mean, we, we step up to the we step up to the free kicks, and then they all go right, same routine. So I kind of it just kind of it just kind of sticks with us really. So um, so for us really, it was more we just get it, keep it going. I mean, it, it nearly works every single time. So for it to happen again and again and again, so. Why not, uh, why not change it? The one here against Fulham, it, it kind of like, I don't know, I'm still wondering how it kind of got yeah, it just trickled, its way it just, through. It just trickled in, let's be honest. I mean, there's no, there's no beating around the bush for that one, <laughs> but um, I'll take it, it goes in. So uh, yeah, it's again, it last game of the season. So it was, a, it was a nice feeling. And the Sheffield United one, obviously famous for the celebration after with the, yeah. the Chef Youth fan in the corner. Yeah. But what a feeling to score your first Premier League goal there. Yeah, that was that was a hell of a, a hell of a day really with Boxing Day and and just just the overall feeling of just scoring your first your first Premier League goal is something not a lot of people can can say or feel and I think when you do feel that it is a it's a special feeling. And that stick you get from the fans, every time you're taking a corner I think you struck me as a player that I love it. thrives off it. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I love it. It's just nice. It's just nice to know that I get pe under people's skin. It's a, it's just a feeling that some people can react in the wrong ways, but I just go, look, what's the point in getting angry and upset over it by them calling you lovely words? Um, <laughs> so I just love it, and yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to stop being me, I guess. So you're getting stick from all them fans. Someone else you're getting stick from who sent us a little video message for you. Have a look at this, mate. Right, well, we're doing it. How does it manage that? Well, congratulations, Alfie, on signing a new contract. Um, you've done very well in pre-season and Premier League to sign this new contract. Fuck the asses. That's brilliant. Yeah, he, he, he really gave me stick that training session. <laughs> And yeah, I'll give it to him. That was that was that was that was special. I know he's a, I know he's Brownie's little mate, but um, for him to come down to the club that week was um, was really nice. I mean, what he's gone through and everything like that, and his family, it's it's tough to hear sometimes. But I mean, the boy's got a smile on his face 24/7, yeah. so it is it is a nice it's a nice touch that. And, uh, I'll keep on improving for you, big man. I will. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I think you said uh, on the day it's the only person you'll you'll accept. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I get it from everyone else, but <laughs> and I can take it. But that one, I'll uh, I'll take on board, hundred <laughs> percent. So now you've got the contract sorted, you can just focus again on, on the rest of this season and you know trying to achieve all our goals. Well, yeah. I mean, I, even without the even without the contracts being signed, I was my my main aim was that. Um, but with with them 
now sorting this out and my commitment to the club. I mean, um, I want to keep going and, and it's always been there, always been my aim really with that. Um, and now, so yeah, so if, uh, now this just means it's just that extra bit special, I guess. And looking forward to seeing you whipping them balls in and getting all learn assists like you got in the Prem last year and even in the Championship, the one that stands out, the ball to locks in the Sunderland, yeah. the playoff game, mate. Yeah, look, I mean, you've got your jobs in, in these, uh, in these in this in this game really and mine is just providing for the team and I've always I've always wanted to do my bit for the team and play every single week so it is it's a nice feeling and then again like this club means a lot to me now it started my career off again having going through a tough time before so it's there's no way there's no um, there's no reason why I wouldn't have signed this contract so uh, yeah so I'm happy now and I'm and I want to kick on even more. And a word on the fans who I'm sure are going to be absolutely thrilled to see this news. Yeah, I mean, it's just the way you play football, isn't it? They come here every week and week out. So um, for me to do this and hopefully it puts a smile on these faces because I love them and they love us. So uh, yeah, it's a, it'll be a good feeling to hear that. Mate, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mama.